Hello, fellow people, and yeah, these guys got revealed officially. They were originally revealed through Skull and Toys. So, um, let's start off with Sandstorm. Jeez, he looks very small in that packaging. Seems like the Lux classes are also going to have the have a closed window. Not sure what to say about that. I don't really. I'm not a really fan. Really a fan of the coloring. So I kind of like the metallic they use on the purple, on the missiles. That looks pretty good. Not sure about the cyber bee though. And scorpion mode. It's pretty much the same as Scorponok. I have the Kingdom Scorponok. I think it's pretty good, but still, my problem. I hate him. That's it. That's it. Just hate him. I just question how he's a snow leopard when he's more of a gray cheetah. A leucistic one? I don't really know. Uh, a lot. So, um, yeah. I actually I hate this. This is just fucking insulting. And we have Buzz Buzzsaw. This is the, actually the most interesting. He's a re re redeco of, of the Kingdom Waspinator. And from what I've heard, it was pretty good. So, um, yeah. Seems like a light pipe. And the one... And the green plastic they use on the wasp head looks very cool. I actually like this one. Though I'm, though I'm not sure why they use the matte finish on the legs. Doesn't really look good. And <laughs> for some reason this reminds me of, of, of some sort of molasses. It still looks really good. Um, be right back. And we have more reveals from the pin first Friday. Starting off with RC. I actually really like this spike mode. This looks very good. Not sure if the shield fell for him or not. Possibly. But still, this looks very good. And I can kind of see how shield transform. I'm not. It's kind of vague. You can see the legs as the front, as the front, though. And the robot mode. robot mode. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Though I question why her, de her eyes look dead. They look very dead. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Ironhide. Not sure why, but this one feels more better than the original figure. That being... Where is it? Ratchet. I don't know. It's probably because Ratchet looks like Probopass. Or even then. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I kinda like the red coloring in this one. And the fact that the blue doesn't bleed. That's pretty good. And Junkyard. This looks this is an awesome re remold. Though I thought that this gun was supposed to be part of his was supposed to be a separate piece. It's actually going to be part of him. Still though, this looks very cool. It amazes me how this is actually a redeck is actually a remold of Rex Gar. Sludge. Oh. This pose reminds me of Grimlock. That's weird. Anyways, he looks pretty good. Though the gun reminds me of a flintlock. I'm not sure why. There is nothing entirely wrong with him. He is over stylized. That's pretty much it. And the dino mode. He looks pretty good, though the weapon sword just kind of bad. That's it. And geez, he looks massive. I don't have any of the Dinobots, so um, feel free to educate me on if he's massive. And here we have Spike with a, with a decolored blast effect. We already know what the blast effect is colored due to the stolen Transformers reviews. And Sandstorm. Uh, oh wait, I forgot. Wait, I already talked about them. And I already talked about these guys. 
Yeah, I must have this was already revealed if you're still in figures. This is ridiculous. But yeah, yikes. I'm gonna just talk about the RED. Seems like he comes with two drills, a buzz saw. How many hands? Four hands and a staff. So well, that's pretty cool. Though that pose is not help is not helping. This pose is. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Not sure what to say about that. So um yeah. I also forgot to mention one more thing. And then there's this. It's another reissue. And it's Cyber Shark. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Now, if we take a look at the box art, yeah, this looks, yeah, <laughs> the ex this is the expectation, and this is the reality. I think he's holding his, he, he's holding his gun wrong, or is it a claw weapon? Like Skywarp. I'm not gonna let that go. <laughs> Anyways, the, the hammerhead being on his pretty questionable it looks like an looks like an oversized crotch plate i hate it <laughs> but luckily for anyone the the hammerhead is actually a gimmick that's right <laughs> apparently it's supposed to launch so um if you don't want if you don't want it on him you can just blast it off launch it off and maybe lose it and I don't think he comes with the missiles. Maybe it's on the back of him. It doesn't really show it on the anywhere on the box. Maybe it's somewhere under this cardboard cutout. I don't know. But that's basically it for this lazily made video. And I'll see you guys next time.